Sucre gum, sucre gums, don't you know everyone wants to gum? <laughs> <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cuatro! Que mes de las tocras! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions Idiots. I am Corbin. And this is Frank. I just realized we should learn how to count in Hindi. Yes. Please let us know. Yep. <laughs> um, please follow us on Instagram! Como <laughs> juicy content! It's, it's so, so juicy. juicy. Uh -huh. <laughs> so today... For you couple people that like these sacred game movies. Six or seven of you. <laughs> uh, we are now on episode four. Yeah, boy. Uh, so the last one. Spoiler alert. If you yes. haven't watched Sacred Games, go Obviously, away. Obviously, spoiler Go watch alert. it. Um, but uh, the last episode we left off with. Uh, the, Which is number three? Yeah, it was three. She got a call from, um, yeah, what's his face? Uh. I have the bad guy's name. Bunty. Bunty. Yeah. She gets a call from Bunty, say, or somebody in Bunty's party saying, we'll meet you in 30 minutes. Right. And then we don't know what's going to happen to her. No. Nope. And then we found out. And then we found and out. And it was almost exactly what we thought was going to happen. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and we liked it a lot. That was our favorite episode of the three. So yeah. So far. What? The, the third? It's episode three, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. This one, uh, I got bored almost in the beginning. Totally. Um, Halfway through the first episode of, the, of episode four. Halfway through, I'm like... Okay, wow, really? You're going backwards, guys. This yeah. is, like, boring. Um, obviously, but then, obviously, halfway you get to old school what's-his-face again. And that's the really enjoyable part of this. You, I, I'm sitting there taking notes, right? Yeah. Uh, the first half of it. And I'm like, okay, Sartaj is a good guy. I like that he's a good guy. How long has Bunty been in that wheelchair? Yeah, that was, that was interesting. Uh, it was. I didn't... I didn't <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? I, uh, I wasn't expecting that, that, so that right. was... And then the real business is politics, and then it went back yeah. to what's uh, his name? I, uh, uh, Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Yeah, they, and, but the character and Cuckoo. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Gaitande. Gaitande. Oh yeah. yes, Gaitande yeah. and Cuckoo. And he, then I stopped taking notes. Yeah, he has always been my the most interesting. I think in this whole yeah from the whole thing. For me, it's even more so her, and even now oh. after this episode, even more. It was totally. Almost, it, at least it seems, off topic the what the surprise we got. I know! But I was like, what? what? <laughs> Did you see Crying Game years back? No. Do you know about Crying Game? Mm -mm. Oh, I'm surprised you have not seen Crying Game. I don't know what it is. Is that the game we play on this channel to see if I could cry? No, that's it! <laughs> no, it is, a, it is a movie that came out long... I'm talking probably 93, 94. I was two or three. Well, you wouldn't have seen it then. <laughs> and you would, it, I, I, that's all, that, all I'm going to tell you is that scene reminded me of the movie The Crying Game. Okay. That's all I'm going to tell you. Yeah, but it was, it was so interesting. I was like, because yeah, they were in, I was already into it because it was uh, Nawaz Adin Siddiqui's right. character and he's just so good. Yeah. He is so, what, a lot of char charisma and he's just so good at acting. Yes. And he's just so fun to watch. And I was trying to figure out who he, like, emulates in, in America. He's like a young Al Pacino. Very much. And that whole rewind sequence is, after watching it now for several episodes, it really is beginning to feel like The Godfather. Yeah. It's, it's giving me that, that sense of the characters and the culture and the time. Yeah. So, yeah, he... Now, he doesn't have, to, for me, the weightiness, and this is not a fair comparison, but like uh, Amitabh Bakchan, his weightiness is yeah. just freaking the, the 10 tons of screen presence, yeah. right? But, I mean, we haven't seen him in an epic scene yet. Correct. Which is why it's so crazy. He's been, he's been small most he, of the he, time. He remi you know who it is? It's more for me, he's more De Niro than he is Pacino. Yeah. A little bit more De Niro-y. But yeah. he's got his own thing going on in yeah. those two, so I'm man. Ge I'm guessing in the future when... <laughs> Shit starts to hit the fan. Yeah, that we're gonna see him in some epic scenes for sure. Some, I'm so that's what I'm hoping. But they, we haven't really seen that. Like we've seen Amitabh Bakchan give some epic speeches. We've right. seen him do all the kind of stuff, and uh, so that's why. Yeah, he really hasn't had his cathartic moment yet, which is why it's so crazy because he's been so impressive, but being so 
minimal. Yeah, doing so little. Which is great. Yeah. That's hard to do. Very hard to do. <laughs> but yeah, you, the, the big surprise in this one, at least, unless we've missed something totally, was... Yeah, if there was something else besides this. Was it Coco, Cuckoo? Or? Uh, Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you just randomly saw her, like, they, she was, he was trying to tell her she was a bad person, but... Like, he was trying to tell uh, Nawaz and Siddiqui, that guy. Right. He was trying to, he was like, you, well, why are you with her? She's, you yeah. were like, is it because she's like a prostitute or a right. or something like yeah. that? <laughs> you go to the bathroom and she's standing up peeing. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> when she, right. When she did that, I thought she was just playing a mind game on the guy. Mm -hmm. I didn't think there was anything to that. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, wow, that's impressive. Yeah, wow. Was, that's, a, that's a trip. You're what just... What is going on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I left it at that. Yeah. And then you, you you end up dissecting it and you're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's a surprise. Right. Okay. Yeah, did not see that coming. Not in the slightest. All. Totally. So that was fun to see. But then at the end of the episode, when uh, he was like, that's the last time I... Did he say saw her or saw her smile? Or... No, he said, and that was the last time, I think he said, that's the last time I saw Cuckoo. Because Which... she basically told him to go because he was going to be this big child and he, she was just going to bring him down. Yeah, she was going to bring him down. They could never have babies. Yeah. Uh, and, pe I... and people sent she, I don't know what exactly she was, but um, that they would kill him because... Uh, some religious reason, I'm guessing, or something. Well, I guess, yeah, because she was transgender, so the entire thought of if it was ever found out that she... Was she transgender or was she a uh, hermaphrodite? No, she was... She's, I've, I did some research after okay. that on the actress who plays Cuckoo okay. to see, because she, she's so good. Yeah, she's phenomenal. I, when it was over, I thought, did they hire a transgender actor? Yeah, did they? No, it's a woman. Uh, it's a woman. Yeah, okay. woman playing a trans... And it says specifically that Cuckoo is a transgender. Transgender. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, but that says also looked down upon in a lot of societies. And oh, so. even still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> back then, which was the 1970s, it would have been totally uh, not okay. But then somebody was obviously attacking them at the end. Yeah, uh, well, it was it was the his rival. His rival, um, that's right. Um, who Cuckoo was with before. Yeah, that's right. 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 They came, shot the place up. Yeah. Which was a very epic. That was the same scene, right? Yeah. That, that, <laughs> I love it. This is the gangster moment. The gangster just, slow mo. Just kind of slow mo walking and shooting. Face. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Boom. I don't care. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot me. Boom. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. And then at the end, I didn't quite know who he was saying because obviously somebody pulled the gun on him right at the end. And he says, Right. What's his face says hello. I don't know who that I was. I don't I'm, know what's going I'm, on. I'm an idiot. Yep. Uh, you probably all know of uh, guys. That's... Is it the guy? Is it his rival? I don't... I didn't recognize the name. And so... Me too. Uh, and I don't know why he didn't just shoot him in the head. Yeah. Because he had him point blank. So there's a reason. And obviously he's not going to die because we saw him die earlier. Right. Or did we? Or did... Yeah. Ooh. That would be freaking cool. <laughs> if he's like a uh, character that like the, the, the... What are the guys from Game of Thrones? The, oh, the, 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 the faceless man? Not the faceless men, the one, the guy who got brought back six times. They're a group of the firemen, the, the, oh, the, um, uh, the, of the fire, the fire priesthood or whatever yeah. they are. I yeah. Their names. Anyway. So yeah. yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe that guy Tunday, he dies and comes back multiple yeah. times. No spoilers. If you've seen the series, don't put that in the comments, please. But yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that because the beginning, like I said, the beginning of this episode was probably the most disappointing. Flat. It was, I mean, I, I enjoy what's his face the Sartage Sartage I a enjoy I enjoy Sartage he's, but he's, he's, our, he's our good guy a lot of the scenes just I was like get to get to Nawazad and Siddiqui's yeah character. or at least continue on with something that's it, it, it was it was, flat. it was a lot of rehashing of what, what has happened before correct and so I'm, we're getting to the end I mean we're right in the middle now right and so we have what four or five six seven eight so we got yeah, four so episodes left four more left so something's going to happen, I'm guessing. Right. But it's, I, that was, I'm hoping that's going to pick up a little bit. Yeah. And the, the other person uh, I like, uh, which this was the first episode we're really getting to know him now, I think, is, is Bunty. Oh, yeah. And I, that, that yeah, guy he, is good. He is good. Really, that and, whole... And I'm in, interested in him. On why is he in a wheelchair? Yeah. And, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, why is he in a wheelchair? 
uh, the relationship with obviously the woman who's the restaurant owner who is now also, we get her both in flashback and we get her right now. Oh yeah. Cause she brought the food, remember, to, in, in the room where and he's- And she yelled at the guy for beating up his sister. Uh huh. And she was like, women are goddesses. And yeah. I like her a lot. I like her. I'm hoping she- Yeah, she goes and she throws, I love when she throws the boiling water. Yeah. Says it'll be boiling oil next time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. She was awesome. I'm hoping she sits on the throne. <laughs> <laughs> I like her a yeah. lot. <laughs> and this one also was the first one that was in my notes. Uh, and I'm guessing this is where we're going to go with this. Um, I felt like this has all been preamble to what the major story is going to be, which is the corruption of politics yep. and the mafia's connection to the political world. Yep. Uh, and, and how that plays a bigger picture in this than we probably even know yet, mm -hmm. as well as the religious tensions and the games that are being played between the Hindus and the Muslims. Yeah. And how the, the mafia and the political elite are going to use the antagonisms to inflame them to get what they want politically, which pisses me off. Yeah. And still happens today, not just in India, it happens all over the world. Yeah. So uh, I'm really looking forward. I've been waiting for that shoe to drop. Yeah. Like so the mind-bending political, I, was, I thought it was going to happen this one and then it was a completely different Right, Shocker, which was cool, which very was cool. cool. <laughs> but that was one of the points that was so frustrating. Up to say for you, probably the first, you know, twenty five minutes of this was like, come on, guys, you've, yeah, you've baited us, reel us in, yeah. So, but the second half was worth it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and so I'm hoping they'll continue that. And yes, the the whole episode is as interesting as the second half. Yeah, don't let go now. I don't want another half episode where yeah. I'm looking at my watch. Going, yeah. What's going on? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> let us know what you thought. Do not give us spoilers, please. And uh, yeah, more Nawazuddin and Siddiqui. And the actress who play, I'll, I'll not say her name right, but it's Kubra. I think it's Sate. Okay. But she's, she's just. Phenomenal. She was so good. I thought this is a transgender actor. Yeah. Man, she's good. Yeah. Love she's so good. Good stuff. Episode five next. Sucker. Go! <laughs>